students, this short video is to guide you on how to tackle each unit Alex quiz. For each unit, you're going to get an Alex quiz paper like this one below. Step one is you go to www.aleks.com. Highly recommended that you go into Google Chrome. If this is your first time using Alex, I would click on Downloads and click on that download plugin and download the plugin. It will make your use of Alex to be much more efficient. Then you want to come in, put in your password and your I mean your login, your password. And as you log in, you're going to notice your quiz link will be green. So you click on this quiz link. And on your paper, you see that you're going to be taking quiz number one. And as you take quiz number one, it is important that you show your work for every single problem, one through ten. That alone is worth points. So you log in. You click on here. Now you're given 45 minutes, although on average most students will take about 20. And every single problem you see, you need to show your work on the appropriate box. So problem number one, show your work, etc. You're going to go through this. I'm just going to click through this first one as an example. And so you will see all 10 questions. I'm just randomly putting numbers in here. I know we'll be getting them wrong, but you can I want you to see what the correction page looks like. So you'll get to the point where it, hit, it says Submit Quiz, and you hit Submit. And then you're going to get a summary page. When they are green, they're correct. When they're red, they're incorrect. Because I just zoomed through this, I wanted to get to this page. You see I got them all wrong. Um, but what you do then is the ones that are green, you do not need to correct. The ones that are red, I expect you to go back and correct each one with a note explaining to yourself how to do the problem. So you take a look here, you click on it, it's going to give you an explanation, it says your answer, correct answer, and then what you do is you hit that explain button and the explain button will give you a detailed explanation on how to do the problem correctly. So with that you click on every single one you get wrong, you look at your answer, look at Alex, click explain, and then as you do the explanation, I expect you to write down the explanation for each problem you get wrong. That is quiz cycle number one. That takes care of these first two steps. Now let's say you go through the first one and you get uh, problems number two, six, and eight incorrect. Then you want to go to my website, learn.bcs. You click on the Alex quiz link. You're going to come here. Now here is an explanation of every single problem in detail. So this is more than just the written explanation. So you, let's say if you got 2, 6, and 8 wrong, you come to problem number 2, you click on play. Most of these average anywhere from a minute and a half to three minutes. So they're very short. And you use that as a guide then to go back and do quiz number 2. So you can see I've taken one of five. Once you've corrected number one, watch the videos. So here you come. 
you've done number one, you've corrected number one, you've watched the videos, then you go back and you take quiz cycle number two. Click on it, and it will tell you that this is your second cycle, etc., and you start the quiz and you do it. Now, when you're finished with quiz cycle number two, you again correct quiz cycle number two, and that's going to be starting on this page. Do quiz cycle number two, correct quiz cycle number two. If at this point you get 100% on the second quiz, you are done. If you do not get 100% on the second quiz, you have three more quiz cycles, three, four, and five. Your goal is to hit 100%. Do not stop until you hit 100%. If you do not hit 100% even on the fifth cycle, then I will take the highest of the five cycles. It is critical that you understand that only half your points are based on accuracy. Look very closely here. Only half your points are based on accuracy. You're going to get five points just for doing and correcting quiz number one, five points for doing and correcting quiz number two, 10 points for doing and correcting and showing all your work for quiz cycles 3, 4, and 5. This point is excused or automatically given if you get 100% in quiz 2. And then of your highest score out of 10 questions, let's say you get 9 correct, I'll double it. I'll take your highest score if you get 9 correct, and I will double it and put it out of 20, and that's for the accuracy portion. So this is total 40 points possible, and this is always going to be due the same day as your unit test. In this case, it's going to be October the 15th or the 16th. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.